Yo guys, Kurt here. So last time, we went after Kakuleta at the Who University, met Popple and Rookie. Caught the Beaten Star, but as we caught it, it broke into several pieces and we got launched off to some mysterious island. Also, I want to say, sorry if I sound a little bit funny, I'm, I'm not sick. Uh, right now, my left ear is congested, specifically my left ear. It always happens, I don't know why. So, um, I can hear it, like, whenever I talk, there's a weird thing in my ear that uh, causes me to sometimes hear where it hits... I don't know how to explain it, it's weird, it kind of affects my talking, but let's explore Oho Oasis. Right here we have a, I forget what these are called, if this Oho Oasis far out in the Oho Ocean, then that mean, wait, how, what that mean, uh, how do you speak? Another tape machine, I showed off one of them last time, let's see what this one says. It has been three weeks since our research expedition arrived here. The time, it speeds by. Today, we made a most surprising discovery. We approached a red Oho G and happened to ignite it in a bizarre accident. The moment this red Oho G was touched by the flames, it turned into a monster. This monster Oho G attacked us, as might any creature that dislikes being set on fire. Unfortunately, the researcher who was attacked then transformed into an Oho G. We must conclude that it's best not to approach an OG if one plans to set it afire. Rather, it's better to stand a short distance away and set fire to it if one wishes. Surely the blue OG will respond to some stimuli and also transform into monsters. It may invite trouble, but clearly this must be researched more since science demands it. So yes, these oh crab attack the crab. Whoa, it's actually just sitting here. Oh, what? I can Oh jeez, I just attacked a crab. Okay. Ooh, hey. Um switch hammer. There we go. Um so yeah, these guys are Oho G's. They how much is a chance? They seem to have some kind of speaking issue. Ooh. I don't know why I like doing that now that I know I can. Oh, oh I can't okay, hold on, hold on. I want up here. Boo. Haha. <laughs> um, apparently, if you somehow manage to set them on fire, they transform into monsters, though. So, that's a problem. Very much so a problem. Um, let's see how many I could get on this real quick. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. To do really fast oh my gosh okay I got 26 um but what we want to do right now instead of playing with the coin box oh me troubled can't make machine speak okay I'm guessing he's talking about those tape machines this fire palace that way thunder palace uh, okay well that hints at nothing really to us because that way fire palace not, you know, you go this way to get there, um, that way. So, right now, we're gonna explore the fire palace. Let's see what we have in here. I am me. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see, is there another one to talk to in here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh, I can't jump up right there. Okay. Uh, take your hammer and break that. Uh, what's going on? Oh. It's a teardrop! Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nothing important. Anytime that Mario enters a cutscene, as many Mario, they do that. I forgot about it. Oh, uh, hello, weird guy. Welcome! Yes, welcome! Welcome to the Fire Palace! I've been waiting for you. I've waited many long years, smoldering like embers. For you, I have kept waiting, and waiting, and waiting! In fact, the last time anyone came through here was 3,000 years ago! Oh, waiting just burns me up. But enough about that. So why have you come? Um, I was exploring. Huh? You, uh, this place, um, this place of power. It is, uh, this place is... Uh, okay. No, wait a second. Just what kind of place is, was this anyways? 
What was it that I was planning on doing? Am I allowed in here? Huh? Wait just a minute. Where am I? Who am I? Um... Hmm. I guess having no guess for 3,000 years takes a toll. Everything just seems to slip one's mind. Or did he or How humorous. So, I guess you could do what you want. I won't stop you. Okay. Uh, wow. This is a cool looking thing. Let's, let's, let's touch it. Oh, hello. Oh, it's hot. Oh, no. Huh? Sparkles! Can't see it. Fire! Oh, wait. My hand's on fire. That's not good. Oh, wait. I just remembered. This is the famed fire palace where we teach the ways of the blistering hand power. Yes, it is all coming back. I have been waiting for you to... You want the hand power, right? You want to master the fiery hand power known as Firebrand. Do you not? You do, right? 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 You don't you do not need to tell me your post says it all. I shall instruct you in the arts of the firebrand. Awesome. First press the R button to select your hand power. I like the way he says that too. Fire! <laughs> Hold the blah, blah blah. I didn't even get to read that. Then release the button. Only then shall you shoot forth a mighty blast of flame. Perhaps you should try it once. So, switch to fire. Hold A and release it. Mario mastered the firebrand. All right. Awesome. I see no problem with your skill. If you just do this action, you're something flammable. That you should have no problems. Uh, surely this skill will open new paths in your life. Wouldn't you agree? So, farewell. Awesome. So now we can spark fire on things. Um, real quick, let's try it out on this. Which actually opens up the shortcut that we could have had Luigi go with us, but oh well. Uh, so now let's partner up with Luigi. And real quick. No. Boom. Put Luigi's butt on fire. Yes, we can do that. Poor Luigi. Not only do we, uh, whenever Mario's in mini form, do we, uh, destroy his, yeah, um, now we can set his butt on fire, but no fear, because soon Luigi will have his payback. Uh, let's just get up here, and this is a blue OHOG, this Thunder Palace, that way Fire Palace, so yes, again with the great directions, amazing. Um, so now it's time for Luigi to go through, and let's see what he has in store. You call me OHOG, but I know no why. But I know no why. Amazing. <laughs> and, oh, uh, the lights again. Oh gosh, lightning! <laughs> To you who have wandered into Thunder Palace, these are the training grounds for the chosen few. I know not how you found your way here, nor how you managed to enter this place. But I have no business with you, and you have none with me. Depart post haste. Uh, well, no, I want to touch the sparkly ball thing. Oh. Zap. <laughs> and we get more of the sparklies. And blind everyone. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. I like that animation a lot more than the fire one. Crackity! Wh who dares to touch the great Thunderhand Spark? Impertinent fool! And yet, you have touched the great Thunderhand Spark, but you still stand before me, so. Perhaps you have the qualities needed to master the galvanic Thunderhand technique. Very well, I shall instruct you in the art of the Thunder Hand. First, press the R button to select your hand power. Thunder! Thunder. I like how he rolls his tongue. 
hold the A button until you gathered the energy or whatever, then release the button. I don't know why they make that one go by so fast. Like, I don't think I pressed the button for it, but whatever. Only then shall you release a burst of thunder and lightning. Perhaps you should try it once. Whoops. Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Luigi gets the thunder hand. I, I really like that technique. I don't know why. Hmm, very well done. It is wise to use this power when an apparent conductor of electricity is nearby. You have done it. It is done. You have released me. Re released you? Um, okay, whatever. So now if we go down here, uh, and you see one of these little blue balls, you can, uh, spark that with electricity. And now, it is time for Luigi to get his revenge on Mario. Not, not that one. That one. Ha ha ha. I spuck your butt, Mario. It is the payback for all the times you have bounced into my crotch. <laughs> oh, jeez. This game is something else. Um, alright, so we got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and keep exploring. Um, so right here, use both, uh, hand techniques to open up a path. And now we get to go into this. Um, I don't know if I've explained yellow pipes yet, but, um, the w well, there's going to be another one somewhat soon. Probably in the next video, so. Yeah, um, also, fireworks underwater. Um, keep that in mind. Fire will always work underwater now. Um. Uh, Leave it to this game, man. Oh, looks like there's enemies falling from the ceiling now. Are they just, like, underwater Goombas? That's interesting. Um, let's see. Now, this area does get a little bit annoying to try to navigate. Do do do. Whew, watch out for that Goomba. Try my best not to get attacked. Oh, oh wow, it was literally right there. Okay. Um, so yeah, now we're in the Oho Ocean. Uh, literally just trying to swim back to shore. Uh, there's going to be a lot of these uh, doorways that you have to open with the Firebrand or Thunderbrand. Um, but, you know, nothing too special. Oh, gosh. And new enemy! So, let's see. Oh, crap. Well, I can't do action commands. There we go. Uh, we have the blooper. Oh, they don't get any kind of special names. Also, let's see. Okay. Um, I don't think I can use the hand powers on them. Because I think that's specifically for enemies on the ground. But we do have, you know, we can use those in battle now. I will be showing those off. Um, I just got to get to a better spot for it. And a lucky hit. Awesome. So, let's see if I can find a ground in me. Okay, well, here's the little Goomba in battle. Let's see, he's probably called, uh, I actually have no clue. I wouldn't be able to think of a name for this guy. Let's see what he is. And we'll, the Goom Diver. Alright. Also, most enemies are have a weakness to either your Fire Hand or Luigi's Thunder Hand. Um, so this one will probably be weak to Luigi. Really, it's not? Huh. Okay. Aw, oh, son of a gun. And... Alright. Well, I showed all that off, so I'm probably gonna cut to whenever I get out of this battle. Okay. Now that I'm out of that, let me not get hit by any more freaking bloopers. Do -do -do. And what's over here? Is there anything over here? Oh, great. Um, I actually switched to Mario. Right here is a little, um, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I actually memorize that. I don't think I did though. One, one, two, I think, three, failure, crap. One, two, Three, four, 
five. There we go. I just messed up on three, so yeah. And that opens up this path. Let's see what's down here. Do do do. Actually, I don't. I think this is an area I'm not supposed to quite be in yet. And Luigi. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to be in this area yet. Um, let's see what happens if we go to the surface. Also, this is how the yellow pipes work. You hold A and B and press up. If you want to go up, you can do down, but it's actually faster if you just let go of A or B. Um, you, you just drop. You don't take damage or anything from it, so... Yeah. Meanwhile, near the border... Okay, so it seems I activated the next cutscene. Alright. Oh, great, great, Cacletta. Will this guy do? Eh, anyone will do now. Hurry, quickly. Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh no. Ooh. Jeez. And we are back at the shore. Awesome. That actually was a lot quicker than I expected it to be. Oh, hello, Prince Peasley. I searched high and low for you two. I feared that you'd met a terrible fate. Uh, oh. <laughs> that is how Luigi describes the Bean Star. Yes, it is true. The Bean Star split in four pieces. They have scattered. It is sad, really. Yep, we'll go get them. What? You say you'll help me search for the Bean Star pieces? Of course, I would be most appreciative. But actually, I'd like you two to go to Bean Bean Airport. Why? Ha ha ha, you see? Princess Peach is blessing our fair land with her presence. Haha, <laughs> Luigi! <laughs> a dignitary of Princess Peach's stature visiting our kingdom is a very serious affair. And that is why I would like you two in attendance to great greet her royal loveliness. As such, you must head for Bean Bean Airport immediately. Well, by the by, Bean Bean Airport is south of Bean Bean Castle. I must head there myself immediately, so I'll see you there. Alright, and with that... We now go and, uh, let's see, we now have to head to the airport to greet Princess Peach. Okay, so, next time we will be heading there. This time, I actually want to check something real quick. I feel like there, yep, there's something up here. So, again, in the next video, I may do a montage of all the things that we have yet to get. Or we could go straight for Bean Bean Castle. I have no clue yet. But, for this video, I think we've done quite a bit. So, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to see me stream almost daily, then follow me on Twitch. And if you want updates concerning the channel, then follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys next time. See ya!